Hi everybody, Beth here. I thought I'd just run you through um, an example of a for each loop. Um, so using conditional logic there in flows. So if you're using Postman flows for the first time and you'd like to see how the for each block works and would help you um, execute some conditional logic, this one is for you. So let's take a look. I'm gonna zoom in here and briefly walk through the steps that I've done. Um, I'm using the RESTful Booker API platform uh, by uh, Mark Wintringham, as ever. And I've decided to um, run through it step by step, do a full kind of workflow. Um, I want to delete bookings if they go past a certain number because maybe, I don't know, that's that's an action that I wanted to take. If there's too many bookings, then um, we'll need to get rid of some. So how I do that, as you know, the RESTful Booker needs to be authenticated and that's done via a stored cookie. So um, I don't really need to worry about um, passing the cookie as a durable or passing that data through my flow uh, because it's stored in the re uh, response um, stored in the cookie there and I have those turned on in Postman so all I need to do is send the um, authentication request I then send a get bookings request and this is where the conditional logic comes in I've added a for each block um, to those who don't know to add a block in flows you just click the add block section here I'm using version 10 of Postman um, I've selected the booking IDs as a reference and every time, so it's going to run through all of the bookings in the get booking request and for every single one of those it's going to do the following actions. So each time the loop is run I want to store that booking ID as a durable which is a uh, value that persists throughout the flow that is then output into your terminal at the end for um, kind of reference and um, kind of to action that particular element. So I'm going to store my booking ID. I'm then going to execute a condition on that um, because I don't want to delete all the bookings. I only want to delete them if there's more than say three. Um, so if that durable that I've created is greater than three, then I want to execute these steps. I want to um, execute the delete and don't forget for all of these to work, um, you need to add examples against your um, API endpoint. So I've done that. I've gone into the delete MPI, uh, API endpoint. I've executed that and I've clicked the save as um, example uh, button with a valid uh, response in there. So, um, Postman knows what to look for. I've included that booking ID variable, the durable that I'm looking for, because I want to delete that specific booking ID that, I've pa that I'm passing through. And then I want to check the status of the response. So go ahead and delete the valid booking um, if that results in a 202, then I want to output that to a success terminal if it doesn't, I want to output that to a failing terminal. And then if the condition is rejected, so if the booking ID is not greater than three, then I want to output that to a third terminal called booking valid not deleted. So what we should see, um, I've executed post and there are, as we can see, there's nine bookings that have been created. So there are bookings in the um, in the platform. Um, and I want to go ahead and run this test. So I'm just going to click the fit view button so you can see all the noodles and doodles wearing their, um, wearing their magic. You can see there that there are some that are going to the booking uh, valid terminal. But there's also some that are going through this deleted. And if we look in the console, we should now see that there have been a couple of bookings there, the bookings that I've just created that have been deleted. So let's take a look in our terminal. 
booking valid not deleted we can see booking id one booking id two that's our durable that we created over here um, and booking id three they weren't deleted that's what we expect to see we don't expect to see anything in the failing block which is here because none of the deletions got any error codes or anything that wasn't 202 the code that we expected and yep we've got two um two ids there that have been successfully deleted so that is how you execute uh, one way to execute a for each loop using uh, postman flows i hope this has helped thank you